Amen. Thank you, Lord. Wow. Gorgeous day. Great attitudes. There's no better way to end a day at Carolina Bible Camp. I don't know why, but the first week and the third week, I think, I don't want to, I'm not being judgmental, don't, because some of you have really special attachments to other weeks, but I don't understand why other weeks don't use the amphitheater. I just really don't get that. This is just a. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> there are some things that just don't need to be repeated, and that was probably one of them. So, <laughs> what a great, uh, a great day we have had. Now let's kind of focus uh, and uh, just enjoy the opportunity of being down here together. I really um, have already uh, been impressed. I knew that was going to be the case with the individuals who are sharing with us uh, each night. And the young man that is going to share with you tonight, I, I appreciate greatly because of his, his heart and uh, his family. His family and I are very close. And I, uh, just through the years, especially this week, have gotten to know him better. And I appreciate his willingness. Uh, one of the things I really appreciate about Graham is the uh, just the genuine way he looks at life and takes each thing that comes at him in stride and learns from it and is a better person because of that journey. And he doesn't believe that, but it's true. And I know you'll give him your attention in the moment as he shares with us. Chris Rhodes is going to be leading us in prayer. And at the appropriate time, uh, well, let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to wait on these guys to get down here. But uh, as they're coming, his dad, that you know very well, Mr. David Carter, is going to lead us in a prayer as uh, we begin. And then uh, we'll have uh, the opportunity to worship in song. After about three songs, Matt will share with us. And uh, then at that point, <laughs> I said Matt, didn't I? You said Matt. And you know why I said that, don't you? <laughs> Graham has a brother named Matt. And uh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> that's it. I appreciate your forgiveness and especially Graham's. That was actually an honor to Matt. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm trying to get out of it, but it ain't going to work. Okay, so let's give uh, God our attention as David leads us in prayer. no great posture in prayer it's necessarily one after the other I almost wish we could just look up to the heavens as we pray tonight but uh, if you will uh, bow your hearts Holy Father praise be to your great name Father it's almost like we just um, could wish to stay at this place where your presence is certainly felt it's true wherever we go you are with us and we know this but here amongst your creation the most prized creation your son and your family where we grow stronger together as we grow closer to you father you have certainly blessed this place and so help us, Father, give you that glory. Help us, Father, to praise and worship you. We're going to lift our voices in song, but it's my prayer that our hearts go up in a very powerful way that we will not only cause pleasure to you, but we will encourage each other. We just can't say how much we love you so much, Father. I'm so grateful for my son Graham for his heart, his desire to please you, grow closer to you. And I pray, Father, that what he has prepared will, in some small way, also impact and challenge other folks to become the reflection of you that I see in him. So we give you that praise and honor because it's because of you and your spirit 
that these things are true. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. <clears throat> we shall assemble on the mountain. We shall assemble at the throne. With humble hearts into his presence. We bring an offering of song. Glory and honor and dominion. Unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of the redeemed. We shall assemble in this memory to come and gather at His feet. His love compels us to His table. With one another we shall be. Glory and honor and dominion. Unto the Lamb, unto the King. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. We sing the song of Rejected and alone like a rose, 
dejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground you took the fall and thought of me above crucified laid behind the stone Rejected and alone like a rose Trampled on the ground You took the fall You thought of me Above all like a rose Trampled on the
Father. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for I thank you for everything that you've done here at this camp. I thank you for giving me the opportunity, Lord, that I may spread your word. I ask, Lord, as I deliver this message, that in some way you will be lifted up, not I. That we will be able to re reflect your cross. That we may learn something, Lord, that we can take away. Lord, I thank you for the love that is in this camp, that is here at this place. For all the people that have guided, guided me, Lord, to walk that straight and narrow, Lord, I hope everyone has the same opportunity and takes it if it's presented to them, Lord. Lord, I also ask that I not be nervous because this is about you, Lord. I ask that I'm able to open my heart up to everyone here. I, I truly feel unworthy, Lord, of your love. But I thank you for your continual forgiveness and acceptance, Lord. Mm -hmm. That everyone here may know that you're always there. Wherever we go, whatever we do, that you're always there. Lord, I ask that you forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's see if we can find some good applicants for Reflections University today. You, sir oh, I'm, I'm good how are you I'm good um, technical I'm good how are you uh, I'm doing good um, what could you contribute to this school oh uh, you know I'm a I'm a fun loving guy I like to party got some good dance moves <laughs> um, <laughs> you know my grades I don't I don't really want to talk about my grades but yeah. um, do you have your SAT scores with you? My, what? Your, <laughs> your SAT scores. Like a, like a Saturday score? I mean... <laughs> well, you could go on Saturday to do it, but... I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, um, well, ne next question. Um, do you have any recommendations? Recommendations? Uh, yeah. Like a... Uh, oh! I got you. You got me? It's, it's right here. It's a, it's a letter of recommendation. Um, okay. Be careful. <laughs> um, sir, it's blank. <laughs> That's right. Forgot to fill that out. Um, oh, we may be contacting you soon. I got, wait, wait, I got a... Oh, okay. I, I got a... This, this is rock. Rock, Rock knows all about my life. Rock's got me. Is that, is that credible? Is that good? Uh, for you, yes. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, call, call you soon? I'll, I'll call you maybe. Oh, no. 
Uh, how are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing just fine, thank you. Doing just fine? Just uh, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what could you contribute to this school? Uh, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a serious bodybuilder. Uh -huh. I think I could give a real good positive outlook to the uh, physical look of your uh, reflect your muscle. Oh. <laughs> My inspiration stands behind me. Okay. Okay. Um. What? Did, so you think you belong here? You, you know. I think I think I do. Yes. Well, we have a nice gym. In a couple of weeks, guys' gym was here. And... <laughs> Uh, well, do you have any re recommendations? Uh, I got one. My mentor has been teaching me everything I know. My father. Oh, okay. Your father. Huh? Okay. Uh, I'm here to recommend him for your college. Here's okay. the letter of recommendation. Uh, you know, as he's my son, he is the greatest human being ever. <laughs> he's the fastest. He's the strongest. He's the smartest. And he's certainly the best looking because he looks like his father. <laughs> so I highly recommend him. It would be foolish of you not to accept him. There's a lot of other schools that want this young man. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'll see what I can do with that. I, I, I appreciate it. Well, good luck with it. Thank you, thank you. I'll call you maybe. <laughs> Hey. How are you doing, sir? I'm, I'm doing really good, definitely. That's good. Doing blessed. Blessed. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, what could you contribute to the school? Uh, you know, I've uh, I've always given everything I've got. You know, whenever I'm told to do something, you know, 110 percent. Mm -hmm. um, I try to try to lead the people around me and and get things going and get things going in the right direction. And I think that really helped the school out. I think so too. Um, do you have any letters of recommendation? Yeah, I've got a, I got a few. A few? Yeah. Okay, well, that's always good. I'm, a, uh, I'm an old friend of his, and mm -hmm. this is a letter of recommendation, but I think that mm -hmm. me just telling you that this is a guy that's trustworthy, mm -hmm. a guy that's honorable, a guy that his heart is as big as he is, and he's the leader that you need, the leader that you want. Thank you. I also have a letter of recommendation for this young man. I, I've watched this young man grow from, you know, a young young boy, and um, I've watched him choose to serve the Lord, and, and I've I've watched him grow to where he's become even an amazing speaker for the Lord. He's dedicated, as was just said, he's trustworthy. But what I've noticed is his life has truly begun to reflect his Lord and his Master, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Here is a letter of recommendation that I have. I bring it to you in somewhat of a personal way. Mm -hmm. as, uh, I've seen this young man ever since he was first born. Oh, his father. Oh, okay. Uh, he and uh, his mother and I, as we have seen him grow all the way from a very young age, uh, have been impressed at his ability. He, he has been at times a little mischievous. <laughs> I just want you to know, but most of the time in those times in his life, that energy level is what has changed, and it's been refocused. Uh, he gets most of his good characteristics from his mother. <laughs> but uh, one of the things that I can tell you more about him than anything else is that um, he will do what you want him to do, and as a representative of this university, He'll make sure that he tries to the best of his ability to reflect what you would have him to learn, what would you would have him to achieve. Uh, he has the heart of a servant, and because of that, I believe uh, he will be a great uh, contributor to the university and a great draw because he has this tendency to, to bring people to him and with him. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um, as you can see from the few people that uh, went to apply in that university, that's all of what they've done to prepare themselves. Two of them did have, 
people to represent, have them rec <clears throat> recommendations, which is impressive. But the one that stood out was the one that reflected God, a benefit to the university, and also love God. And that's truly a blessing. And very honorable. You see, we are all letters of recommendation. We all have letters of recommendation. But it's not just about the papers. That's not what it's about, guys. It's about our hearts. See, in 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians, I mean, chapter 3, verse 2, it says, You yourselves are letters of recommendations written on our hearts to be known and read by all. And you should that you are a letter of Christ delivered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not on tables of stone, but on tables of human hearts. See, as for me, my letter is good. My letter is also bad. You see, because people watch what you do all the time. That's what we're learning in our cabin devos. That people watch what you do and they want to be like you. They want to do what you do. So we always have to be able to reflect that cross. But I come tonight confessing that I don't always reflect that cross. You know, I, I go to church. You know, I do good. I have love and compassion for people. I love God. I've even brought people to Christ. But what gets me is how I've done all of that and still fall short. Because I, I love this world and I, I love the sin. But that's not reflecting Christ. You see, I, I listen to music I shouldn't. I put things in my head that I should not. I hang out with people that do not reflect God. I say many things that I shouldn't. It's not uplifting. I don't read the Bible like I should. I lust. And I don't trust God completely. And that really hits home. To make that confession known to people that I'm just like all of you. I'm, I'm no better in the fact that I usually think I'm not as good as you guys. I really felt like I shouldn't be up here talking that, you know, I'm considered with Caleb and the many speakers that I'm not worthy. Because those are the people that I looked up to. And saying all that, Jesus recommends, Jesus is a recommendation to all of us. He tells us in his word. He shows us on that cross. And if we continually have that confession within us, through the renewing of Jesus, we are able to reflect that cross. We will be the letters that the world needs. And through baptism, we can have a whole new letter. We don't have to have the burden on our hearts of the sins that we do. Our minds can be clear because of what he did on that cross. We will be able to reflect what it is we need to teach and every one of us. And when, when we resurrect out that water, we're a new being.
we have the glow that Moses had when he came off and met God. Well, the love that will be in us is truly great. Guys, this is what camp is all about. You know, a lot of people say that, and I never really understood truly what camp was about until I looked in that mirror and saw myself in sin. I saw myself not what I should be. And he loves me anyway. He accepts me when I do wrong. When I knowingly do things I shouldn't. And I thank God for that love. It's an honor to be a Christian, guys. To have somebody willing to do that for you is something I don't understand. I'm just so happy that Jesus loved me enough to die, even though I don't love him like I should. So I hope that some way that y'all got something out of that that your reflection is what you make it. You can reflect that and reflect others or not. But I tell you, that's what it's all about. Every time I kneel to pray, Yeah.